Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to The Short Answer. What a delight to be here with you. It is a beautiful time of the year for us pulling things together and moving into a world that we want to create for ourselves based upon a deeper truth. And so today we're going to be talking about dropping in and staying in. And I can't wait to share with you what that's about. It has to do with you actually being able to manifest those things that you've been speaking about are important to you and what this new year is going to hold for you and your dreams and desires and your inspirations, I hope. Um, so a couple of things I want to announce beforehand. Uh, we are day two in our challenge of of, of elevating and empowering and embodying our yoga challenge, the Body Awake Yoga Challenge is happening right now. And you can still jump in, even if you're not a yogi, there are versions of this that you can do if they're sitting in a chair or whatever, but it's to get you moving and get you anchoring and developing circuitry to really you know, step into your role as a manifester and a creator in your life. So uh, we've had a thrill hearing your feedback right away, and there's still time to register and jump in. The information on how to register for that is in the link uh, in the comments below. So come on, join us, jump in, you can do it. Come on, come on. So there's also a free Body Awake class. You can claim your complimentary 30-minute Body Awake class, you know, for you for 30 minutes on your own as well. Um, jump in. That's in the comments below as well. There is a free community, Body Awake Yoga community and program informational call um, coming up also. It's how to go deeper with really understanding what, what Body Awake Yoga is doing. What it's doing is driving photons into the core of the body so that you can be more aware and awake to your internal voice, that true connection to source that you possess, whether you believe it or not, you do, no exceptions, it applies to everyone. And um, so we're going to be having a community uh, information call where you can call in, ask questions, and we can have some exchanges along that, along those lines of you really getting the value of what you can be doing on the yoga mat or on the yoga chair, All right? It's Monday, January, write this down, Monday, January 29th. Monday, January 29th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So we're all gathering together to get your questions answered and just give you information about what yoga poses are activating, what parts of the system and the nervous system and the immunity and the chemistry and the hormonal system and everything that is involved there in the healing modality of body awake yoga. All right, comments below. We'll also give you an opportunity to plug into that information. Something else I want to share with you that I'm really looking forward to doing is last year we we taught a Mary Magdalene class that had tremendous response. People were very thrilled with the embodiment factor of the Mary Magdalene conversation, meaning how to build neurocircuitry to actually live into the teachings uh, in addition to learning about the history and what's going on. So much more has been has been hidden from us, and we're really drawing that forward in this. So this year we're doing another one, but it is a little bit different angle based upon information that I gathered the second time I went to France um, and this past year. So it is revealing love's greater truth, and it's about Mary Magdalene and our power to heal. So again, it's putting those practices to use, but also allowing them to drop you into a greater wisdom that allows you to feel certain and clear about the decisions that you're making and the ways that you're living and the choices that are coming and the projects that are, that are truly occurring to you, how to tap into that creative genius that is multidimensional and is eternal and kind of a a different take on quantum science from the perspective of the Essenes and Mary Magdalene and the teachings there. So I'm so looking forward to sharing with you my new discoveries that I got the last journey awake that we took to France this year. Okay, so that is February 16, 17, 18. February 16, 17, and 18 coming around the bend for you. All right, and there is early bird pricing through January 31st. So keep that in mind, early bird pricing until January 31st. 
and there is an option to purchase last year's Embodying a Greater Love at a special bundled price if you didn't catch that last year and you'd like to really be in the whole flow of all of the content because they are different courses approaching different aspects of our consciousness and the embodiment of those. So all in the, in the, uh, in the realm of ascending our vibration and really raising our perspective and our perceptive field to the nuances that are needed to know ahead of time what is right for you. That's truly what I'm working with and loving sharing it with everyone. So um, check your email for information about how to register for that. That is uh, coming up again, February 16, 17, and 18. We also are teaching a, um, a spiritual best practitioner training. And so there's a best online course and the spiritual best practitioner training that will be live um, coming around the corner as well. So you can learn best if you haven't learned best yet and you'd like to, which is the hands-on healing energy medicine modality that we've been teaching for decades since the 70s when my father started his research and then and then uh, getting certified in that uh, or at least taking that class and getting checked off on certain components to that allows you to become eligible to attend Spiritual Best, where we're actually training you how to be a creator and how to facilitate someone else's desire to do that for themselves, rather than um, kind of driving down the road, looking through the rearview mirror and trying to steer better because of mistakes that you've made in the past, rather than living that way or continuing to live that way. It's really an encouragement to teach you how to tap the parts of you that you've never awakened before. When you don't know what you don't know, how do you begin to know them? And that's what Spiritual Best is all about. It's about guiding people and coaching people into their true full potential as a divine energy being, a high frequency energy being that has come here into this you know, domain, into this physical life for a reason. And we would like to put you at the helm of that. So it's a fantastic modality that is life changing. And so, so if you'd like to either learn best just online or learn best online so that you can join us for spiritual best, which is in March, um, the review day for the best, if you get the online um, training, you can come in on March 14th and we'll give you feedback on how you're doing it, really adapting from what you're learning, give you feedback and refine your skill so that then on the 15th and 16th and 17th, you can join us for a beautiful training that brings together quantum science and ancient Eastern uh, processes from, from the studies of consciousness and the development of consciousness from the beginning and how to infuse that into neurocircuitry that is synapsing in a way that allows you to truly draw upon your own ancient wisdom more readily, more consistently. That's what it's all about, right? So everything inside of Mortar Institute is really designed to get you masterful at these very things. So spiritual best is probably one of the best ways that I know that we can facilitate that for ourselves and others by just learning the content. Even if you didn't ever go out and practice it on other people, it has been life-changing for people. So as well, there'll be emails coming out for you to be able to register for that. It's a big thing coming up March 14, 15, 16, and 17, if you are interested in that. All right. So, um, in addition to that, just two more things, um, the monthly healing transmission, the next one, complimentary monthly healing transmission, January 31st, Wednesday, January 31st at 8.30 Eastern time. Please bring your friends. We are still here in the, in the midst of the holy days and bringing them to an anchored um, poignant moment in that healing transmission will be wonderful for you and for uh, your friends. So um, join us for that. The gold membership, we'll be joining um, right up after the short answer. We get together and do the master class, and it's a very big part of the gold membership, which allows you to come in, ask your questions, and allow things to really kind of be painted into a big picture context of how all things fit together. And I love the way that we handle that class of really engaging with the people and then and then working it all out in one big answer that makes everything fit together. The people love it and I love doing it. And so hoping that you'll join us there. Inside the gold membership, you also have um, uh, a, an amazing archive of a library of 
prior master classes, over a hundred of them, where you can binge watch and it is binge worthy. It's very fun and engaging. And then also part of the gold membership, um, there are discounts that you get on on things that you participate in, and and the information is also accessible inside the comments below. So you might want to check that out. And um, and then lastly, the Body Awake Yoga membership class. So the first and third Thursday of every month, we do new classes. You also have access to the library of of other previous classes. There are. Um, 80 plus streaming body awake classes that are available there for you to pick from in terms of uh, what works for you and the amount of time that you have on a given day, the level of engagement, if you want it to be super easy or you really want to kind of feel your strength on a given day, all designed to help you develop the circuitry within to allow this soulful self to express up and out, to allow the healer within to express up and out and to allow that guidance in your life that is you know, truly desired by most people to be found within unconditionally. Whenever you need it, it's there. And even when you don't know that you need it, it's still there uh, working in your favor. So join us and you'll find out uh, more about that in the link uh, uh, in the comments as well. So there's that. Now, short answer. It's about us recognizing that during the holy days, no matter where we are on the planet, we've been invited to drop in to the depths of our being. We've been invited to maybe be more contemplative, maybe quieter, have more spaciousness in our lives. Even though the holidays are at the same time, there was always an invitation coming to you from Mortar Institute, and I hope you took advantage of it. And if not, we'll catch you next year on that uh, because it's the most magnificent time of the year to allow for uh, a revelation to allow for new input, an influx of new energy, a, an alchemy that happens in the body in a way that allows you to truly dive into the crevices of your being that are, that are not receiving their consciousness into them because of preconceived ideas or notions about who we are or who we're not, or even unconscious perceptions that are steering us through life in a way that has conflict and friction. And, and there's all types of, of, of uh, shortcomings that occur because of these limitations that we grew up inside of and don't even know that they're driving our lives. And they're causing all kinds of conflict or confusions or hesitancies or procrastinations or what have you. And so during the holy days, we, we truly are invited to open and to receive, not only so that we could clean house on some of those things and alchemize a new realization that those are vibrations that are no longer serving me. And I'm going to just kind of be able to leave them behind as something new is birthing, but even truly a real focus on the fact that something is birthing and what it is that is birthing and to nurture that and, and cultivate it and truly allow it to have a space in your life that is transformative, to, to reach a pinnacle of your own consciousness that you are tangibly able to perceive that you are bigger than you thought you were, that you have a greater capacity than you thought you did. And that things can go in your favor if you'll just step into it. And right now, right now, you are at a place where you can be stepping into those things and actually beginning to witness them coming to life and being real for you. Dropping things that normally you would hook into and get super emotional, but staying present with people in ways that you normally would multitask and not be available to actually be lovingly present for someone. And you find the wherewithal to do both in different proportions. And you find a comfort coming over you that allows you to show up and to be free and to be helpful and to be loved all because you're not in the way that idea of who you thought you were that was getting in the way that you were wrestling with seems to fall away. Now we're poised to be stepping into that right now. And the key is this, everyone's talking about what they're going to do this year and how things are going to be better. And this is what I'm really going to focus on. And they're back to exercising or they're taking care of themselves with their diet or they're taking on that project or they're picking up the phone and making that reservation or they're, assimilating their ideas about how they're going to address something at work. You name it, it's happening. 
And here's what's likely to happen. Here comes some some um, look aheads from Mortar Institute again. Here it comes from Dr. Sue. And maybe you'll grab this one if you missed the one that I was talking about for like the last two months. All right. This one is in order to actually manifest those great ideas, those visions and those intentions and hopefully those inspirations that you're really paying attention to the way to actually let them come out in a consistent and unwavering fashion is to not only drop in like you're invited to do throughout the holy days, still in the holy days, please do drop in to your deep core self, breathe in your belly, let your belly stretch open when you breathe, Let the diaphragm relax in the inhale and the exhale and the inhale and the exhale. Let it freely move because you're not constricting it because you think you need to show up a certain way or there's pressure from this or from that, but rather noticing that, you know what, if I just take a deep breath right now, I don't have to be involved in any of these dramas that are circling around. I don't have to be involved in any of the dramas that even I was conjuring up on my own. I can just drop it. I can drop it in, I can drop it through, but if I'll stay in, if I'll drop down in here in this relaxed area where the belly is freely breathing and the diaphragm is freely expanding and contracting and expanding and contracting and doing what it does to bring my divine or my high vibrations into my humanity or my anchoring vibrations and allow my anchoring vibrations to be brought up into those good ideas that I have and then to grab those good ideas and bring them down into my rootedness so that I can actually combine those energies in a manner that allow me to come forward with something that's integrated, something that's whole and complete If I drop in to these places where I can stretch open and feel myself comfortably sitting in my chair or breathe in the belly and and stretch open the solar plexus as I inhale and exhale or inhale even bigger that the belly gets big and the solar plexus stretches open and then I inhale into my upper lobes of my lungs and I allow that whole fullness to be one rhythm And then I exhale into the space around me and that I inhale into the belly and stretch open the solar plexus and inhale further into the upper lobes of my lungs. And then I inhale bigger than the body and I exhale in every direction. As I continue to breathe in this way, I'm starting to actually dial into the frequency where manifesting happens. I'm starting to dial into the frequency where a greater love happens. I dial into the frequency where healing happens. And there are three, one, they're in the same, they're three of the same frequencies. They're all in the same radio station, interestingly enough. And if I'm willing to drop in and allow my system to open and to feel this um, a dozen times a day um, until it becomes all day when I'm never not, when I allow this to start to happen and I lean back against my own spine and I can feel my channel start to open and I just sit down. When I drop in like that, all these wonderful, beautiful, flourishing ideas and answers and solutions and ways of being become obvious to me. And if I'll stay there, even though now's the time of year when everybody's talking about, okay, let's do it. Let's get into the doing. Let's go after it. Let's start. Let's get exercising or let's engage in that organization that we said we were going to, or let's start working on how to eat better or take care of ourselves or get to bed earlier or whatever it might be. As we start thinking about the how, what happens is we come up and out of the where. There's the how is here. The how is here. And when we start thinking about it, we start to draw ourselves up and out of the seat of genius that allowed it to unfold. We pull ourselves up and out. We literally unplug from the Earth's alpha frequency that allows us to translate billions of bits of information that are bombarding us every millisecond, and they bombard us at the cellular level, and those little antennas on the surface of those cells report that information inside the cell. And they translate it into neurotransmitters and biochemistries that that become nuances of energetic impulses, nerve impulses, 
hormonal impulses, neurotransmitters coming up through the heart and being filtered and transduced into the qualities and quantities of those chemistries that are truly going to serve us in being able to interpret, here's what's true for me. Here's what's right for me. Here's what I'm doing. And so if we let that system work the way that it's designed to work, it's going to deliver the solutions that we are looking for, even when it comes to the question of, okay, how? How are we going to get about doing this? You have to stay seated in the same genius seat that you were seated in when you came up with, oh, you know, I really do choose to take better care of myself. I really do feel it's time for me to do, you know, a different thing. Or I really do feel that it's time for me to have that voice and to step up and to move out into the world and do my thing and do it my way and allow it to flourish and make my contributions and, you know, speak my voice or experience my talents in some way. Where we were sitting in a seated place that allowed us to really connect those dots Does it make sense that we would stay connected to that same genius and let it incrementally and and systematically give rise all the way up through the heart and through the throat and all the way up through the primitive brain and into these high brain centers that would allow us to also come up with creative genius ways to do it that don't make sense necessarily in a world where we were striving and struggling and trying hard to make ends meet and to make it work? I used to live there. There were times when I had to make decisions about which bills to pay and that kind of thing. Back even when I was in my clinic and trying to, to get it off the ground, it, it exploded into success. But then I had my years of wavering in there and wobbling as I was trying to figure out who I was and how it was all going to fit together before I had the big openings that became the energy codes and this, this systematic way of plugging in and staying plugged in. So of all the messages that I could bring to you today, I wanted to bring, mm, drop in, but stay in. Even when it's time to get up and get moving and get doing, you make sure that it feels as good inside your body as it felt the moment that you were making those intentions, those resolutions, or feeling those inspirations rising from within you and getting really excited about uh, rounding the bend to a new year. Drop in so that you are supported by this cosmic intelligence that is rising up through you as you and stay in so that you can continue to receive that kind of input when it comes to how do I want to operate in this situation? How do I want to navigate this situation? What am I going to allow to be true when I start looking forward into my life in these sort of ways? guarantee they will manifest if you sustain your presence with some constancy dropped in seated in as the soulful self because the truth of you when you're performing turns out much more beautifully if you're performing as the soulful self and the truth of you doesn't need protecting if you are truly actioning as the soulful self You transmute everything that comes your way, obstacles, frictions, irritants, people, places, circumstances, things, all of it is trying to show you, you know, you could let go of your disposition on that. You could let go of your opinion on that and you can get a a lot of good work done in the same five minutes that you would spend worrying or fretting that would cause you to sit back down in the old seat that you used to sit in. So drop into yourselves, my friends. It's right here. You're being guided to do it and stay in. Even when it's time to emerge, do not leave home without you, okay? So take your chair with you when you go and stay plugged in. Stay plugged in to the greatest power on earth. And it's the power that has your heart beating right now. It's the power that allows you to continue to breathe when you're not thinking about it. That same power is truly trying to come through your system in a manner that allows you to experience the miracle that it is, that allows you to experience the wonder and awe of you inside the Energy Codes and Mortar Institute and Live Awake and all of the programs that I'm teaching are either designed to teach you how to do that for you or designed to teach you how to help other people do that too. So together we are more. So let's drop in, stay plugged in, 
stay in and generate our contribution to creating a greater humanity and a better world. So blessings to you all. I hope you'll join me in just a few moments for the masterclass. I look forward to answering your questions and tying them together with everyone else's questions in a way that reminds us that all is well. So blessings to you all and namaste.